Our next guest speaker is speaking on The Coup on the Republic, a prelude. Please welcome John Batchelor. morning. Thank you. I'm John Batchelor, and I do a radio show each night to Washington and New York and other cities. And for the last three years, we have been very serious about a topic that can be dismissed as yesterday's news. March 20th, 2017, in a hearing at the House of Representatives, the Intelligence Committee chaired by Devin Nunes. Accusations were made against the president. Accusations we now know came from the Steele dossier, which you can dismiss as childlike conduct. However, regicide. My topic is regicide, the murder of the king. The Romans invented civil war 2,000 years ago. An aspect of civil war is regicide. In 44 BC, when Brutus and his gang murdered Caesar, regicide. Brutus was an honorable man. So were they all honorable men. Regicide is a sickness. Men and women decide to be regicides. And for the last three years, each week, I take an opportunity to talk to my good friend, Michael Vlahos, who teaches at Johns Hopkins. And we philosophize about politics and history. And we've been driven by one topic for three years, and now more than ever, regicide, the murder of a king. Shakespeare wrote about regicide in 1605 three times. He finished Lear, he wrote Macbeth, and he wrote Antony and Cleopatra. Macbeth, Macbeth murders sleep. Macbeth murders innocent sleep. Regicides do not sleep. They do not stop. Once regicide begins, there is no end. Regicide murders sleep. There is no relaxing. If you're defending the king, you cannot relax because regicides do not sleep. Modern conversation would say you're only as mature as the moment you became a regicide. That's where you live the rest of your life to prove that you were correct. This country was born during a period of regicide. Remember, remember the 5th of November the gunpowder plot. They meant to murder the king, James I. It failed, but they kept at it. And they murdered his son after a trial for treason in 1649. Regicides do not quit. It was wrong-headed before they took his head, but they kept at it. And during that same period, our forefathers came to America to escape regicide. This country is refuge from regicide. No more. In the 18th century, Louis XVI. Louis XVI sent money and arms and very good officers, Rochambeau, to America 
to help the colonials push away the king. And it weakened him, and they cut off his head. So see, between cutting off Charles's head and cutting off Louis's head, America prospers. But then we had our own regicide In 1865, you know the story. They meant to kill Lincoln the moment he arrived in Washington, and they kept at it. And they were successful. We live with the turmoil of that moment today. Class and race and regionalism. Regicide is a serious topic. I understand, too serious for a beautiful morning over the Potomac, a serious topic. And now we come to impeachment. The founders, chiefly Hamilton and Madison, wrote it in the Federalists. And we've kept at it, this idea of impeachment of the president. Three times it's happened. Once, it would have happened. Impeachment is regicide. We have frequent elections. We don't need impeachment. Frequent elections. And yet, now I bring us up to date and close the story sadly. Remember, they're all honorable men. Brutus was an honorable man. So are they all honorable men. Regicides are honorable men. They will tell you that. When they condemn the king, when they condemn the president, they are honorable men. What we just witnessed was not the end. Three years now we've been watching the allegations of March 20th, 2017. Donald Trump is a stooge of Vladimir Putin. That is the allegation. What you just saw was another attempt to prove it. What you see on stage at the debates for the Democratic nomination, allegation. So. It was a privilege to meet with Mark Meadows behind stage and Jim Jordan. They fought the regicide in Congress, but they must continue to fight the regicide wherever they are. All of us must, because they will keep coming. <laughs> Regicides are honorable men. I'm going to leave it here. I didn't bring happy news this morning. We're at risk. Regicide is in the land. Macbeth murders sleep. The regicides do not sleep. There is no happy end to regicide. No happy end. There's refuge, but no happy ending. I wish I could tell you one. Michael and I search for it. No happy ending. Regicide murders sleep. Thank you.